Hey guys, welcome back to another gaming stream. I am Dazzling Kate. I am an artist, I am a nerd, and I'm a dog mom to two lovely poochies. And this is my sister, Anne Bone. Hello. Anyways, guys, let us begin on... Wait, well, let us begin with the chat. Because when we do these streams, we always enjoy talking with the chat. And we want to bring up a little spice here and there. Some sugar, some spice, and everything either naughty or nice. I, I don't know. <laughs> All of it. Man. Ooh. Okay, so... Hold on, guys. Hey, Hyper Sky, Hi. how is it going? Hello, people, friends, aliens. <laughs> My dog wanted to say hi to everybody, but he says it kind of loud, so I don't want you guys to have to listen. It's okay. I mean, my dogs say hi all the time, or they say, fuck off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was really hilarious to see how people are dealing with like, alien. Uh, Hi, alien. <laughs> oh yeah, that does remind me. Do you remember that one Ed Ed and Eddie special? The um, I, I think it was a Christmas themed one as well, or just a normal like holiday not holiday special, but an alien special. The one where basically Ed went over to like Rolf's house, and everyone thought they were aliens. <laughs> I feel like I like vaguely remember that. Yeah, basically you had Ed, well, Eddie and Kevin fighting over leadership position. I think and, yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. Yeah, that was such a good episode. I was like, "Oh my gosh." And at the end when Naz is just like still attached to the fucking like lamp posts and she's like, "Really? Guys, seriously?" They did so much on that show. Like, everyone only really did the most. Hypersky, good, actually. Just working on the comic. Ooh, you working on a comic? Must be really fun. Like, I, I love, you know, listening to stuff when I'm working on my stuff. It's always nice to just, you know, hear somebody talk and, you know, just chat along and do all this and that. I'm super excited for you. Let us know what kind of book it is. Like, what kind of comic book is it? Like, is it a action, horror, romance, whatever genre we can, we can't think of because my brain is slow. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah. It would be interesting to see how you know people do well with their like. Well, wait. That does make me think. What if we decided to turn our old stories into comic pages? Like. A oh, funny. God. We should. It would be kind of funny. It would be like us writing Teen Titan fan fiction. It goes terribly wrong. But it would be better because we wouldn't have to write so much and it could just be like the pictures of them. I think yeah. that's what I I started doing. I would just draw them out because like writing them was like a lot of effort. But then I realized I was a horrible artist. So. Oh, you were, like, so much better than me, like, at the time when you were, like, um, I was the one telling you what to draw, and I was, like, a lazy, like, very lazy and shit. I was, like, yeah, you, you can draw my character, Rose, can't you? <laughs> I remember, like, I remember that. I want, I was sort of good at drawing, but... I don't know. I just didn't want to keep doing it because I was so I was such a perfectionist about it. And if I yeah, I messed anything up, I'd be like, "Oh, that looks like garbage." And then you would toss it away, and yeah, like, it would like stress me out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's the thing with me. I'm like, I need to make it look perfect, exactly like the photo reference I'm using. Then afterwards, I realize I can't keep thinking like that, and I I decide to redo some of it to a point where I'm happy. And content with some elements. So that's how I do things. Okay, my favorite episode was the Halloween one with Ed went crazy with the spatula. And it's the Superman comic I'm working on. Made a hell of a change. Ooh, I love, I love, you know, fan comics. They're my favorite things to read whenever I have time. Like, 
fans seem to write, you know, stuff better than normal writers that they have in the comic book industry right now. I mean, does anyone remember? Um, I'm trying to remember which which writer is the worst one right now. But I would have to say right now it has to be Tom Taylor. Like there are some elements of his writing that I do like, but you know what he's been doing now? He's been like, oh yeah, I forgot. Ambon doesn't know too much about writers. All basic. Yeah, I'll filter it up and sum it up in easy terms. So that way you can go like, oh, okay. Good idea. Okay, so Tom Taylor is the writer that introduced the whole by Superman to the world. And everyone was going like, oh my gosh, he's so brave. He's so amazing for doing this. His writing is so perfect. And he also introduced a Nightwing sister, like a long lost sister for Nightwing. And that's like, that's a little bit too late for that Tom Taylor. Like maybe a long lost aunt or something like that but not a sister an an actual established writer is this someone just like he's already like working for like dc comics and shit he's a Mm -hmm. professional but yeah he has has to come up with these ideas and be like yes that sounds marvelous yeah (laughs) that's basically the sum of it but yeah he introduced a nightwing sister who is i've heard from people that she's most likely a lesbian and i'm like okay then in like introducing by superman it's like by superman john kent the by superman okay and now re- more recently he's focused on his medieval story dark knights of steel which has wonder woman show off her bisexuality that everyone's been waiting for oh, by yeah, having that everyone's been waiting for that yeah, basically she now has a girlfriend in Dark Knights of Steel and I'm just like, okay, was this really necessary? They wanted to do this for a while and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, can't they just create like a new... No, 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 they can't create something new. You want to know why? Because that's not as easy as selling a already established character that everyone yeah. loves. I guess that's true. I was just thinking that too. I was like, well, it's easier to just slap a label on something that everybody already loves instead of making representation with a new. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, it's going to be hard to sell a character sometimes, but these characters that came before, you know, new other characters that were by in any part of the LGBT community or are, you know, new Asian characters or new female ones, they just want to go straight to, you know, changing something like somebody loves and bam they make it easier so they don't have to work too hard for their brains and plus with the established rules they have for um the comic industry like dc and marvel and other companies of the sorts do not want to get new characters because if they get new characters then people will want you know rights to those characters so they can you know own the characters and get a part of the you know pie that DC and Marvel gets from making money off of those characters. Cause if they gave the rights to the owners and creators, then, you know, they they will lose money. And I'm like, it's easier just to give them a percentage of money and, you know, do that instead of just, you know, gambling away with trying to establish new characters that just don't work unless you actually care about them. That's what creators are there for. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I just, Mm. <laughs> no, I can't even argue with that. I mean, not that I would, but like that—that that was pretty passionate. <laughs> yeah, it's that's part of the channel, and I'm like, I like talking about creator rights because you know you see um, musicians like let's let, let okay let's say Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift wanted to own her rights to her songs, and since she couldn't get that, she basically had to you know re-record her music as of lately, you know. So she can have the, like, rights to her music and so she can, you know, it wasn't to capitalize off of it. Yeah, that's a good thing, but you get what I mean. She wanted the rights to her songs that she wrote. and Yeah, like, those are hers. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like the comic book industry and such need to learn that the creators that are involved with these characters need to own the rights to those characters. Like, it doesn't matter if you want to make money or not. If you can get a good deal with the creator and make it so you both can, you know, obtain money from that one thing, then I think it would be great. But if you're not going to do that, then don't expect people to put in all the time and work and passion into these characters. I feel like that need, 
that is an element we need to change in the comic book industry. That's something we need to do more of. Oh, man, I've got to take a quick sip of sip. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh right. Um holy duty. Oh my gosh. I want <laughs> to put a pre-order of that comic in right now. Oh our fan comic. Oh god. Yep. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you want to see us, you know, accidentally kill off some characters here and there. Like I, I still can't believe we we decided to go with that whole Starfire gets ran over by an RV. My oh my god, that was so funny though, because we both were like, "Yeah, we don't like her." So yeah, Let's just like kill her off. <laughs> I know it's just like I know a lot of my friends will probably be like, "Oh my god, dazzling Kate! How can you be so mean to Starfire?" This is the animated Starfire, guys. I don't like the animated Starfire. They made her seem really stupid. Like, there is a difference between learning new things as a tourist or guest of another country, and you learn from that. But with her character, it just... It was so annoying. I get it that she was trying to learn, but it's like, some moments were just awkward and cringe. Oh, we're getting controversial in the comments over here. If the heroes actually did die, it would make for a better story. That way you never know the end. Like, oh yeah, Superman survives. Again. Oh yeah, they decided to kill him off again. <laughs> I don't even uh, know what's happening. I don't watch any of those. It, it's not, not like, um, it, it's nothing to watch. Book? It's um, comic book oh, stuff going on I with DC. Comic books. It, that's understandable. I try to avoid DC and Marvel now because there's a lot of elements and story plots that I don't really care for. But yeah, that's always awkward to find that one time of what they're going to be doing with the comic books right now. They're hoping that they can replace Clark Kent with his son, John Kent, the bi Superman. And I'm going to say right now, it's just not going to work. You can't just expect people to just be like, oh, wow, John Kent's the new Superman. That means he's the better Superman because he's bisexual. And it's just, it's so cringe of how they handle these characters. Like, I can't even, like, I can't even deal with that. Oh my gosh. But hey, at least the Superman, like Clark Kent Superman was not turned into a right, like a right wing dictator. Like some of the people said he was going to end up being in this like one post that I saw, like, uh, it, it's one thing when you want to do an interesting concept of Superman being evil, but being real specific about, yeah, he's going to be this nut job and shit for the author like authority, authorians. I don't know what they're calling this thing, the authority. <sighs> oh, oh, like honestly, I could take a shot right now, but I don't want to wait from. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry to get. Uh, well, I don't drink too much rum, but if it, if I'm remembering something bad, I'm just like, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, we're already 10, oh wait, no, 13 minutes in, and I'm thinking, how about we just dive right into Nancy Drew? <laughs> just gotta... Let's do it. Yeah. Gotta share the screen. Okie dokie. Oh, that's Casper. He's saying hello. Come on. Damn it. Give me a minute. I know it will in finish installing. Don't worry about that, guys. I thought it was already installed. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Give me a minute. Gotta redo that. Gotta redo it. Uh. Okay. I think he's so. Okay. Now we're just getting in. If I do get... get if I do get dis disconnected, that's mostly because of my internet. But it looks good right now, so... 
Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous. And the time is really scary. Don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. Oh, no. She's supposed to be like a teenager. I think she's like, like um, young adult. I think she's like 17, 18, 19, around that okay. age. She does not sound like a teenager. 20 year old, early 20s? Maybe, maybe she was like a college student. Like, I don't know, because that comment about her dad, like, I just never really picked up on it. I'm like, how old is she actually? Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Okay, let's see what the case file says. I love this part. Okay, we're gonna go to the Ice Creek Lodge. Oh, fuck. When he opened it up, I wasn't finished. All right. Oh, we're going to Canada? And oh, we're gonna wow. Out why there's been so many accidents. Ooh. The woman who runs the lodge called out of the blue, saying that my mom is talking really loud right now. And <laughs> Are you cutting the grass? What? Like, I'm wondering if that, like, mon is that a lawnmower? Yeah, I think that's outside of Nancy's house. Oh, that makes sense. And the birds. Okay. Hmm. Oh, my boy. She sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers and her handyman, Ollie. For some reason, we have a picture of him. We're picking yeah. up at the airport. She told me it's been really cold and snowy there and to act accordingly. And she said something about a wolf and that the connection was really bad and I could barely hear her. But I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling or was it howling along with dangerous and be careful. Hmm, that sounds fun. Accidents are one thing, but wild animal. Oh, girl, you're going to get rabies. <laughs> I hope I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> okay, so now we just got to grab the ticket like we always do. Oh, yeah. I remember one time I was sitting on the screen for so long because I didn't realize that you're supposed to grab the ticket and like do the thing to actually go on the freaking journey. Yeah. The junior level or uh, let's go with junior because this we're, we're, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Sorry guys, we're babies. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl Freddie. Oh, well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But no need for you to tell her I said that. Is this the fucking dad from Twilight? Afraid so. Huh? Insurance company's giving her a <laughs> real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot, especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall, and I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. Ooh. You hear that? Yeah. Well, oh, no shit, Ollie, I have ears. <laughs> oh, the punch? Is this Twilight? No, it is not Twilight. What gave you that idea? That it's Twilight. Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. Oh, that's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have to know why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is 
is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You okay. sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Oh, my God. Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. Uh, you want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah, that's an excellent idea. All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too. Oh, Are you shitting me right now? That way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. I, well, um, idea, man. So I'm not getting paid? Damn. So right, does she just do this for free? We have are well taken care of, especially that Olympic caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European visiting crowd. Wait, so we have to solve a mystery and take care of four guests? We heard it howl last night, just before the Yeah, that seems to up. be the picture here. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Nancy, I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Pino Balducci? I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming. So the gist of it is I'll get she you doesn't want leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. Okay, that's so creepy. Ollie. Bye. Bye, Ollie. Go to the basement. <laughs> well, she doesn't want to call her dad to tell her that she can't run yeah. this shit. But she did want to call a 17-year-old girl to see if she can solve all of her problems. Okay, we saved. I'll, you'll have to remind me to do that because, yeah, I'll forget. <laughs> okay, let's see the comments real quick. Is this Twilight? It is not Twilight. Holy duty. It is not Twilight. <laughs> Rohat, sup guys? How was your week? Oh, you playing Nancy Drew? Yeah, we're playing Nancy Drew. And yeah, um, Ambone, how was your week? It was good. It was finals week. And I finished everything, thankfully. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. Oh, sweet. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Okay, so... This is an interesting way of doing it. Oh, we got a teddy bear. How nice. Oh, we, we can get up the time? Okay. It's an alarm clock. What are you doing with the dog? I'm not doing anything. Okay, let's see. Oh, sweet. Who? Who are we looking for and what are we doing? Uh, do we have a checklist? Oh, we do have a checklist. Check out the case file folder on my desk to learn my... That's finished. Okay, get the master key. That's finished. Oops, haven't done that. Still need to do that. Can't check that off yet. Okay, so we got... Still need to do that. Oops, haven't done that. Okay. We, we got go to the bunkhouse. I don't think we can, but let's see if we can. Uh, bunkhouse. So we're... um. I'm guess oh yeah we're right here so we just need to get over there. How hard could it possibly be? Oh well, okay, so find out. We just need to look around. Food poisoning, wolf plague, freak <laughs> lounge. Area man attacked by Wolverine, Sasquatch sightings. Hit five year low. Ugh, man. I know I should have read everything, but I'm just like, oh, look, our guests. 
Let's introduce ourselves. How are you boys doing? Let's just <laughs> well, Okay, you you're not my type. Mate, Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey, I don't know. The guy on the right is looking at you. Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here is a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably going to need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? That They're is really a... nailing all those Canadian stereotypes, eh? <laughs> oh, I was just going to say the same thing. Um, have you been Look at a sweater. <laughs> Which one should we do? Two been at the lounge for a while. Are you two old friends? Uh... The second one. Second one, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you two old friends? Not hardly. I've known Lou for all of what? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Is it this the first time you've been to the loud? Um, hmm. Any me? What? I said you choose. Okay. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Heck no. I came for the ice fishing. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. Have you seen this wolf? Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. Well, there's this... argue, Little Red Riding Hood? <laughs> that wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be He's right. in tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. <laughs> not gonna happen, dude. Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction I since just you were born, yeah. which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that oh, pond oh. shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Oh. Consider it done. All just right. Ordering this around. Yeah, we bet. Evie, you know, I'm busy. Did I run a play? You can't play, Evie. Renette, you don't have thumbs. That's for the racist of you. Yeah, and you're pretty racist too to assume that I'm racist. Oh, wow. What is this? Some kind of puzzle. Um, Evie. It looks like the thing in the Scooby Doo movie. Oh yeah, the Scooby Doo movie. Yeah, it looks like the little the thing, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which. We just need to figure out which. I guess we'll have to figure it out over time. Okay. Not time for kitchen duty yet. Not yet. I get to be everyone's food slave in a minute. Okay, um... <sighs> okay. We'll have to remember this thermometer right here. Um, I think, it, I think it lets us know how long we've been out there, so... No water else we die. This trail until I know for sure where it goes. Okay, we can't do anything with that. Just trying to get a feel for the place. Um ha! Who goes there? Uh, uh, Nancy Drew? Nancy oh Drew God. Pass, unless and until she proves herself worthy. And how does she do that? By hitting the snow princess ten times. Snowballs only, no ice balls. What are ice balls? 
If you get hit with one, it can knock you out. So don't throw it or I'll tell my dad. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. I am the Snow Princess. Prepare to defend yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> you have defeated the snow princess. You may pass. You may pass. Is this a bunkhouse? A nice fishing shack. A nice warm one at that. Oh. It's my favorite club penguin. Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Little bastards. <laughs> I don't know how many more I can grab, but I'm sure I can grab something. Can you get that hat? Why would I want a hat? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want... Oh, it's Strand Coffee. I thought it was an explosive. There, I got the hat. Yay. <laughs> oh, shit. If only fishing was like this. Oh, crap. Look at how big that fish is. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can get that log. I broke my line. Damn it. Uh, I guess you can't get the log. I was gonna be surprised if we could, so... Yeah, I should really not waste too much time. This just reminds me of the Candyland game. Do you remember that? Kind of. We should yeah. play it. Huh? We should play it. If only I could find it. <laughs> oh, wow. Apathetic Black Queen. Hi, Ambo. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello. Sorry, guys. I'm on full screen, so I can't see the chat right now. The but face was all melted. Part of the timing device that was used to trigger the bomb that blew up the bunkhouse, maybe? I don't know how this takes us so long to get, like... I'm ready to throw snowballs at her. We have to do it every time we want to go this way. I find it entertaining. It's Cha You win go before the snowball is out and take the Okay, Spridal. Spridal. Don't you remember Speed Racer? Oh my god, yeah. Okay, now we just gotta shovel up that. Oh, cool, shovel. Guess I better get this pond shoveled off. You, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, um. How ex 
exactly do I do this? I don't know. Gee. Oh, dang. Oh. Okay, what do those have in common? I guess this is like a puzzle, so I'm just gonna like do the. Whoa! Oh. You fell through the ice? Yes, but I'm okay now. I just got a little wet and cold. Actually, I got really cold. My little really interesting shade of violet. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to be investigating accidents, not having them. I know. I'll be more careful next time. I promise. I'd like to believe that, Nancy, but I just can't afford to. I'm in enough trouble with my insurance company already. You don't mean... Oh, but I do mean you're fired. Uh, okay. You just got fired? Just like that? Evie, no. Yeah, but Annie does. Okay. Let's redo that again, guys. Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off. Okay, so... Uh, man, it would be nice if they could give us instructions for the game. I remember being stuck on this when we played it the very first time. And I get so mad because I had no idea what to do. Maybe the darkest ones mean... Okay, let's test that theory. And then we'd go and watch the tutorials. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe the brightest ones mean they're easily breakable? Yeah, because I don't really understand. So I guess stay on the zero color. Okay, that looks like this it's color. Be careful. Mm. Okay, she's doing nothing.
I'm just trying to figure it out. Hmm. Okay, maybe... I think the whole line should be fine. Oh boy. Because I think what do you think? The boxes. So like the squares of the darker ones, the the middle of it is going to be the cracks. Ah, oh, good point. You know? That makes a lot of sense. Which means this one's a crack. Evie, knock it off. Okay. No, maybe. Just gotta put it where it needs to be. This makes sense. Yeah. That ought to do it. Oh, Wait sweet. a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. Yeah, let's just go get eaten by wolves. Who's up for that? Me. <laughs> Weird. Looks like some kind of monument. Monument? What does she mean? Uh, it's a type of thing that is placed in a historical thing and... Oh, I know, but like, what is she this talking about? What is this? Strange. It's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. Gee, I wonder how. Chicken Ridge? Why is it called that? Because like we're chickens. 
And we're gonna run away from that noise. What's that noise? Oh no! Oh my god. Please tell me we don't get sent back. Okay, we don't. I'm buried in snow. I gotta dig myself out before I run out of air. I'll never make it. I can barely breathe. Someone's up there. Help! I'm down here! Right under you! Can you hear me? Help! I can't breathe! Thank oh my god. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. No, oh, who's a cute puppy? If a wolf literally shot up it's at gone, me. But thanks to that hole it dug, I can breathe again. Now if I can just pull I'll myself call it, out. Cuddle it. Even if it kills me. I'll cuddle yeah. it. <sighs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I totally am thinking of Candyland. I feel warmer already. Oh, I would be freezing my ass off in there. I mean, out there. Yeah, screw that. Laundry. Do I need anything else? Nope, just need to collect the laundry, I guess. Okay. Maid duties. Pick up laundry back at the front desk. Available after 5.45 a.m. Enter and clean only those rooms displaying the housekeeping sign. Make the bed. Remove used towels and washcloths. All rooms displaying the housekeeping sign must be cleaned no later than- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck that up. We fucked that up real good. It's okay, guys. We're running on in Dean town. Oh, the bathroom! My favorite place to go. Oh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That was the I didn't think we needed a game that let us use the bathroom. That's This is my favorite game now, guys. <laughs> that is a pretty good perk. Because I'm just like, okay, if I was in a situation where a giant wolf tried to eat me and I got hit by an avalanche, I'd want to be able to go take the toilet for a drive. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, um... Oh, wait. I haven't cleaned it. Okay, let me just grab the shit that needs to be washed. There's no laundry. You gotta go into the bathroom. Oh, right, right, right. And grab those. Here we go. Now, let's go in here. Evie, what are you doing? You gotta make the bed. Oh, right, make the. Evie! Put down! Oh, right. That, get me closer. No, 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 don't. No, Evie. I hate screwing up. Okay, um... Give me that. Just let me over there. Oh, 
Thank you. Okay, I can't open up that. No, that's a weird pig. Mm. Pretty creepy. Okay. Making sure I check out everything. Nope, I can't get into the. Yeah. Oh, this is that one guy, the artist. Yeah. We're just looking at his shit. Okay, we took care of the laundry. We made the beds, right? I think so. Okay. Then we're not in trouble. Ooh, let's go in there. Damn it, we can't go in there. Oh, wait, it's vacant. I'm an idiot. This must be where I dropped the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. Um... Oh, they were instructions. Yeah, we just didn't read it. We're such idiots. Well, let's go tell the little morons that their ice thing is finished. And they have to pay us. Wait, snoring. Where's the snoring? Chantal's on the phone, Nancy. Oh, what? I thought she was on the phone. Me too. He said it. She was, but what a liar! There are different phones. Hey, look. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100 year history. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. Yeah, let's keep on looking out for old pictures, I guess. Old pictures and old ladies. Bone which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from the bone? giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. Wonder what happened to it. Hmm. Somebody wanted a back scratcher. Oh, wow. There's something else. Oh, wow. Glowing gems in the eyes. What a great place to put them. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. Could have fooled me. What do you want? <laughs> oh, wow. It's the first time you've been to the lodge since Mr. Toplight is here. Could I play a game of fox and geese with you? Are you by any chance related to Rolf Hustler, the guy who used to build... Let's see the last one. That sounds really specific and we should try it. Are you by any chance related to Rolf Kessler, the guy who used to build carousels around the turn of the last century? No idea. Okay. Since Mr. Talbot isn't here, could I play a game of fox and geese with you? You best. Have a seat. Here are the Sweet. rules. The white pieces are the geese. The black piece is the fox. The goal of the geese is to corner the fox so he can't move, while the goal of the fox is to gobble up geese so that they can't corner him. The geese can only move forward along a line to the next point, either directly forwards, diagonally, or sideways. Same thing for the fox, except when he's next to a goose that has an empty spot directly behind it. He can jump over it. Gobble it up. Right. Gobble it up and remove it from the board. You just take turns and play until somebody wins and somebody loses. I'll be the fox. Ready? You bet. Okay, let's see. Damn it. Damn you. What? How? Okay, um, damn it. Are we, are we just supposed to, like, corner it? Like, that's gonna be hard. Okay, uh, fuck. Wait, move that one first. Then what? Move the top middle one. This? No, wait, wait, wait. Move the top left. Down here? Yeah, yeah. What else? Move one of the ones on the left. This is the left, right? Yeah. Which one? Uh, this to here? Any of them. Okay. Yeah. We're just trying to get them closer. Um. Okay. Damn it. Oh my god. No. Damn it. <laughs> How the fuck are we going to get this damn fox? <laughs> okay, so he's smarter than he looks. Okay, um... You win. Nice job. Ah! Okay, if we start over. Okay, so obviously we got to figure out something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn it. Um. Okay, so obviously. 
Okay, just gotta keep him on his toes. Yeah. So keeping him cornered like this is a good strategy. Damn it! Okay. How does that even work? But I knew that they come to the And that's the last time I saw them. The next morning, Joel We're so close. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Move the top one to the middle. This? Or this? No, the one above that to the middle. Sorry, guys, if we seem boring. I just really want to beat this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we start over. Okay, one more level, okay? I promise. One more attempt. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay. Every time I think I understand this game, I don't. Like this. It's just pissed me off as a kid. It's so annoying. I'm trying to figure out a strategy. So learning how this works, so, okay, so we got about, eighteen goose, geese, I mean, 
I'm just trying to figure out a strategy. Because, again, this is based off of a real game. And I didn't think we'd have to, like, you know... Mm. What's a real game called? Same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Evie, no, I'm trying to concentrate. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> I would be more concerned than anything, but Evie, knock it off. What's Evie doing? She keeps jumping onto my leg. <laughs> I bet you can't make a better decision than I've made. I better run a play. You're losing. You're losing. Because you don't know how canines work. I do know how canines work. How did you think I brought you into this world? You didn't bring me out here at all. Snap lie. Okay, we kind of got something going on here. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Damn you freaking communists. Damn you, uh, okay, so if they're not surrounded. Oh, that makes sense. How many pieces do we even need to win? I never thought about that part. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I feel like if it were impossible, I would have kicked this by now.
Oh, well. I just learned that eventually we're going to have to win three games in a row. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. I don't know how anyone can win this game. You might as well just ask me to become a Girl Scout troop leader, and I can probably sell more cookies than win this game. And I know nothing about business. This is really annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> Fine, eat me. Darn. I'm quitting. Quit. He th what? Was he asleep that whole time? I'm sleeping, Lobby. I think I have more better luck, you know, winning the lottery than this. Oh, wow. Well, who are you? Say the first one. Oh. I'm Elsa's replacement. Oh, the new maid. Thank goodness. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to endure these conditions and still pay full price. Uh, how long has Elsa been gone? Two days, I think. Maybe even three. I don't know. It's all a blur of dirt and dust and soap residue. My name is Guadalupe Comillo. My friends call me Lupe. So I should call you Lupe? I hardly think so, dear. Okay. For one thing, I don't <laughs> know your name. My name's Nancy Drew. Two things, dear. First, the alarm clock is missing from my room. I don't necessarily need another one. I just don't want to be charged for that one, seeing as I have no idea where it went to. Second, be a doll and clean my room first. It'll hardly take you any time at all, especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests were all men. Single men. Well, I'm happy to report that I've already cleaned your room. Excellent. On October 4th. What are you looking at through the binoculars? Birds. I'm watching birds. And that's what I am, you see, a bird watcher. Sometimes I go outside and watch, and sometimes I stay inside. It all depends on what the birds feel like doing and what I feel like doing. Mm, what a weirdo. Yeah. So Why is she here? A quick lodge, the birding? Absolutely. The place is a veritable birding paradise, even in winter. In fact, in the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks, eagles, orioles, cardinals, jays, nothing truly rare, but to a wildlife lover such as myself, seeing them in such a spectacular setting is thrilling nonetheless. Hmm. Have you ever seen the bird that's been hanging out around here? No. Not that I'm looking for it, of course. Yanni occasionally skis by, and dullard of a student, I see him snowshoeing occasionally. But I've yet to see the wolf. Have you seen it? Yeah, up close and personal, as a matter of fact. How did it act? Was it aggressive? Did it look injured? She seems to care a lot. Oh, wow. Uh, Actually, I think it may have saved my life. Really. Of course, its behavior does suggest that it's had contact with humans before. Have you told anyone else what you just told me? No? Good. Don't. You see, I'd like to see this wolf for myself, and I don't want everyone else going after it and scaring it away. And there's no telling what that trigger happy handyman might do. So it'll just be out. All right. All right. Have you met the other guests? I've bumped into them at one time or another. Yes, I don't spend all my time in front of this window. That Yoni fellow, he's very talented, but extremely intense. His whole life revolves around being the best in the world. As for the two who are always sitting across the way playing that sweet game, the older man, Bill Kessler, he's no deep thinker, but he's nice enough. But the other one, that college student, 
talking to him is like trying to converse with a giant turner. No social graces whatsoever. I almost prefer talking to the handyman. Oh, anyone that intent on destroying something as glorious as that wolf is hardly worth it. Good luck with your birding. Farewell. I don't know if I like her. She's kind of a weirdo. Let's see. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, um... Noon to 1 p.m. A little late for that. Oh, wow. Let's see. I still got one more guest to find. Uh, check. Can't check that off yet. Check. That's finished. Check. Still need to do that. Check. Still need to do that. Okay. In there, done that. <laughs> okay, call Chantel. Okay, let's do that. Hello? Hi, Chantal. It's Nancy Drew. You know who's behind the accident? Not quite yet. Oh. Call those options. Uh. I'd like to hear more about the accidents that have been happening around here. The first thing that happened was the worst. The Faringdale family and Becky the cook all came down with food poisoning and had to live. Some the potato salad was contaminated. Although I swear to God, she did. I cannot tell you how awful it was. All the people became alive and ill at roughly the same time. Wow, that is a lot of shit that went wrong. Like, a lot. I'm surprised you, you, you're still keeping your guests in here. Like, what the hell? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Apathetic Black Queen. Hi again. And Rohat Crow. Chow Hurdy. Churry. You got this. Thank you. I, I tried. I really did try, but... Yeah, I had to switch my headphones because mine died. <laughs> okay. So who's suing you? Let's so see. who's suing you? No one yet. But my lawyers are afraid it's just a matter of time and are trying to figure out what preventative measures to take. Don't forget where your suit tonight. Did you know that some photos are missing from the display case in the lobby? Really? First I love they were all there. A question for them says something like, young and the old have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge. I can't remember what they were missing from, and I sure don't know why they came into the case. The only thing for Dan found is missing from its case, too. First thing I remember, I'm not going to be able to convince myself that I'm not a loser. I was going to have... 
also no arms. Did we talk to Tino? Yeah. About Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on this case. Do you know what he did when we were on that train trip Lori Gerard arranged? What about us? Are you paying us? <laughs> right? Like, why aren't we being paid? Yeah. Has anyone talked to you about the World Championship Cross Country Skiing Competition that's going to be held somewhere in this area year after next? That is something I am not prepared for teaching. In other words, the answer is yes. Yes. Being encouraged constantly by them, helping with everything, like attaining the 43 black belt in Taekwondo. That would tend to make Icicle Creek Lodge a very desirable piece of real estate, wouldn't it? Yes, it would help your life. As far as I know, all of us, as strong as possible, is for children. It's a thought. And a pretty nasty one at that. Nothing else to report. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be all right if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon. Okay. I guess we have to talk with Sheriff and Tino. Um, Let's ask the sh- like, let's talk to the Sheriff. Yeah, let's call that guy. There, he is a co-worker named Lynn Willett, having to begin dating. By all outward appearances, Nick's is trying to stand in a normal life. He might have succeeded, for one problem. Sheriff yes, Thomas, this is Mohican. Hi, this is Nancy Drew at the Icicle Creek Lodge. We met the other night when you were investigating the bunkhouse explosion. Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I found a melted clock face close to where the bunkhouse used to be, and I wondered if it could have been what triggered the explosion. You know, the timer? I found that clock face, too. Left it there because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with everything else. And besides, Ollie Randall said all the room clocks at the lodge looked like that. Could have been one that was in the bunkhouse to begin with. Oh, right. You shouldn't go poking around on your own like that. There could still be explosives lying around. <laughs> Although, I hear it takes a pretty big bang to set off C4. C4? A plastic explosive. And that's what blew up the bunkhouse. Lab result came in less than an hour ago. <laughs> hmm. Did the lab results show anything else? Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particularly well made, so when it exploded, pretty much everything got melted into a blob or blown to smithereens or burned to a crisp. That C4 plastic explosive stuff, I'm assuming it's not something you could just buy at your basic hardware store? No, but it's not that difficult to get. Well, not if you're in the military or do any kind of demolition. In Eastern Europe, it's called Semtex. It's not that hard to handle, either. For somebody who's had training in explosives, it's mm. a piece of cake. I almost got caught in an avalanche at Chicken Ridge that was triggered by a big explosion. An explosion? Are you sure it wasn't just the sound of someone shooting a rifle, maybe? No, it sounded like someone had set off a bomb. In fact, afterwards, I found a crater, like someone had deliberately blown a hole in the ground underneath the snow. Unless it was someone shooting off fireworks or something. I have no idea what it could have been. Well, okay, we'll let you get back to work. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. Okay, now we just gotta call Tino, Tino the dickhead, um... Oh, yeah, screw this game. Hey, 
Nancy. I was wondering when your number there was going to show up on caller ID. This is Dino Balducci. Remember me? From that last train to Blue Moon Canyon we went on? Yeah, I'm the one who helped you find that long-lost treasure. I'm not sure helped is the right word, Mr. Balducci. Please, call me Tino. In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. Hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks like. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm working on something that'll pretty much crack this case wide open. But in the meantime, what can I do you for? Okay, um... Which one should I go with? Um, check-in... How do you know Chantel? Uh, Ask how he knows Chantel. Good idea. I'm curious. How do you know Chantal? Friend of a friend heard about all the problems she was having up there and immediately figured she could use my crime solving expertise. So yeah, I gave her a call, a we had lunch, we hit it off, and bingo. I got myself a new client. And how many some... clients do you have? I have enough. I mean, you know, you go spreading yourself too thin in this business, and the next thing you know, crime out the wazoo. Hey, look, you sure you don't need a hint or something? I guess I could maybe use some advice. I guess maybe I could use some advice. Now you're talking. What do you want to know? Hmm. 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 Bill Kessler wants me to catch a two-foot northern pike. Only my fishing skills seem to be pretty much non-existent. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. I could catch a two-foot northern pike in my sleep. Look, first off, check out the computer in the lobby so you know what a northern pike looks like. Then when you're fishing, just click to get your hook to drop down or rise up. And if you want a really hot tip, just click on the mouth of a fish coming toward your line. Next thing you know, bam. You got yourself a fish. Just keep at it till you catch a northern pike that's two feet long. Now, you'll probably never be as good at fishing as, say, me, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, Gaston, shut up. Thanks for the tip. All in a day's work. See ya. Asshole. Oh, yeah, we should probably check what the fish looks like. Okay, doesn't look that bad. Okay, I guess we'll have to... So, yeah, Northern Pike, was that the fish? Yes, Northern Pike. Okay. Guess we'll go fishing then. Oh, wait, we should probably check on what's-his-face. Hey, Nancy. What? Holly says he had to cook lunch. Oh, uh, no. Maybe you should just go to the kitchen right now so you can be all ready to cook the next meal, okay? Oh, right. Gotta get to the kitchen. I forgot about that. Okay. Two salmon and no salad. Okay, two salmon. Uh, uh, two salmon, one salad. Oh. One egg. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Evie, down. Okay, um, one salad with egg, yellow peppers, 
Okay. One, oh, three yellow peppers. Evie's down. Anchovies. Who eats anchovies with their salad? No. Three carrots. Evie, knock it off. Or cucumbers. And okay. Uh, what's the final thing? Croutons. Is this croutons? I'm going to assume. Yeah. You think I'm serving this? You're local. What the hell? What? Two salmon, one salad, three eggs. One egg, three yellow pepper, one tomato, three spinach, one anchovy, three carrot, four cucumber, one crouton. Put extra salad ingredients in the salad bowl on top of the lettuce. Oh! Maybe this is the lettuce. Or is this the lettuce? I can't. Yeah. Oh, what? Because I think that one's spinach. Oh. Okay. Two salmon. Two salmon. One salmon. You can make all the dickies to a candy. Please, either one. Could you do that for a minute? Give me a minute, guys. Damn it, I burnt it. <clears throat> Fault. It's not my fault. You're a shitty chef. Two salmon. Okay, four salmon. Actually, I'm gonna just do two at a time. Okay, one egg, two yellow peppers. Two yellow peppers, one tomato. One tomato. One spinach, one anchovy. One of everything and two croutons. Anchovies and carrots and cucumbers. Croutons. Right, how many croutons? Two. Mm -hmm. Order up. Okay. Tomato. And that's how I might have And I'm just getting really loose. As James 
Three times. Order up. Okay, two eggs, one yellow pepper and tomato and spinach. Inside, she finds the coach's 14 year old grandson, Chase, with his grandfather. Came in, she's very young. And I picked up and said, Oh, no, I want What the hell? Damn it! I fucked up this recipe. James Hicks pulling out of Jim Ross's driveway. He and his grandfather run to the car he drove down with the dumpster yard. There was something there. And all the yellow tomatoes. Went to another dumpster and uh, put something else in there. Lose track of his car. Returned to the dumpster. Anchovies, two. Inside the dumpster, they find all the evidence they need to arrest James. Order up. Okay, one egg, two yellow pepper, one tomato. <coughs> Three spinach, one anchovy. Two carrot, three cucumbers. Order up. Okay. Two egg, three yellow peppers, two tomatoes. Three spinach. One carrot, one cucumber, two. Okay. Oh, that was difficult and annoying. Did I mention annoying? Oh, my hand hates me. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I don't understand why she's making us do everything. That's right. Been there, done that. Yeah, it's so difficult. Um, Oops, haven't done that. Oops, haven't done that. Oops, haven't done that. Okay. We still got a checklist of things to do. I guess we'll just read everything on this. Amy is just two years old and dangerously underweight. So we report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. Amy is slowly dying. These are the basic things that you can help us provide by calling the number on your screen now and giving just ten dollars a month. That's less than thirty pieces a day. Save the children is on the ground in the U.S. and all over the world, but we need your help to deliver life-saving medicine. Medical Contents deleted. Wonder why. To children in desperate need. For a child as critically ill as Amy, a single phone call can make the difference. Please pick up the phone now. For less than 35 cents a day, you can help us save a child's life. Call now, and you'll receive the Save the Children. Still program. need to do that. Still need to do that. Still a reminder that difference you're making in children's lives. Oops, haven't and done that. Oh, there's actually instructions in my room. I'm so slow. To make it even bigger impact. For just ten dollars a month. Think you oh, okay, this is mine. We need your help. 
more children will arrive tomorrow. Nous sommes dans une situation d'urgence parce que chaque jour nous avons beaucoup des addictions qui conseillent de children and help us save the child's life. Okay. I know this. Haven't done that. I already wrote it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Recognize carriers so they can help you find the right plan at the right price that's the right fit for you. How long does it take? Health markets can help you find a plan at minutes. My company health markets can help you find a health plan on the government exchange. No matter what your situation is, health markets can help you find your right fit. I'm going to the bathroom again. I need to cry and shit. <laughs> This is the only downside. We're like stuck with other roommates, kind of, and we're stuck like you know. Oh wow, emergency exit only. We're not gonna do like do anything stupid by going over there. Okay, she's gone. Oh, he's gone too. I guess everyone's going to bed. Okay, let's see. We haven't exactly gotten a lot of time. Sweet, we can finally go down the stairs without being interrupted about. Oh, you got a phone call. Oh, we haven't met this guy yet. Nancy, I'm glad to see you. I don't like him. You seem upset. You must listen. I was outside skiing very fast, as you know, and suddenly, boom, snow, dirt, rocks, everything was flying into the air right in front of me. There is a mad bomber on the loose. Of course it was a bomb. My competitors on the bunkhouse thinking I would be so frightened that I would abandon my training and leave. Only I wasn't frightened. So now they are trying to bomb me. Is it they're responsible for all the accidents that have been happening around here as well? My competitors and the government behind them, they are as desperate as they are ruthless. They are capable of anything that can operate anywhere in the world, under all conditions. It would not surprise me if someone right here in the lodge is right now under their employ. But to them, they, pop. they do not scare me. I am the best cross-country steer in the world. I will neutralize their petty threats with my excellent strength, skill, and speed. I am sorry. Did you want something? Six hours into the interview, uh, Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No. For which in my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. Really? They are creatures of infinite evil. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. Oh, okay. Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> I hear that a major cross-country skiing competition may be held in this area in a couple of years. This is very true. It will rival the Olympics. Oh, sweet. I hope we get free tickets. It's <laughs> better for all the crap we're doing here. Yeah. Could that be the real reason you came here to train? As long as I have to train, why not train in the place where I must eventually put the training to use? As we say in Fredonia, I'm simply milking two goats with one bucket. Besides, oh. I told you about the bomb. My competitors will stop at nothing to defeat me. I've been forced to seek out and exploit every possible advantage open to me. I take no pride in some of the things I've done to bring victory to my country, but I have no choice. You're busy, so I'll let you go. Okay. In the fall of 2000, Jane Six leads detectives here to a house set back in the woods. 
His men's Tibbetts watch him as a forensic team holds his sister's remains from a shallow grave nearby. This is so invigorating. I'm the star of Hicks' first wife, Jenny Sear Hicks. Okay. Next day, in a patch of woods upstate, the body of Hicks' last victim, Lynn Willette, is unearthed. The investigation is complete. Mm -hmm. All the claims is the same. On December 4th, a serial killer smiles for the cameras. What are you doing? Uh -huh. Okay, you're being an asshole then. Inside the courtroom, the family is gathered. The killer sits up in the the judge hangs down two concurrent life sentences for the murders of Carolyn Towers and Lynn Millette and 55 years for the assault on June Moss in Yellow. After 23 years of killing this man, he expresses neither remorse nor an understanding of his crimes. The only certainty it appears is this. I forgot, uh, uh do, do we cook lunch? Breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Ooh, we gotta go right now. Otherwise, we'll be like lazy fucks. No, she'll be like, are you kidding me? Okay, let's begin. Let's see what we got here. Three French toasts, one, three Canadian bacons. Okay. Oh, wait. Evie, knock it off. <laughs> Damn it. You made me burn my toast. Evie, knock it off. Okay. Three Canadian bacons. Omelet, two bacons, one spinach. Your French toast looks good. Okay, one omelet. Okay. Oh, we were supposed to. Oh. Evie. No. Oh, there's there was already bacon. I'm stupid. Oh, wait. did I put in twice the amount? On cheese. Two green peppers. One olive. Evie, down. Order up. Okay, three bacon, three spinach. Three cheese, three green pepper. New omelet for you. Oh, one bacon. 
Oh, right. Three Canadian bacon. Oh, yeah. Good French toast. Order up. It doesn't even look like an omelet. It looks like a quesadilla. Yeah. Order up. Some bacon to spinach. Three green peppers, one olive. Oh, wait a minute. I'm all set. I got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's olives. Oh, look at this. It's like a lobster. That's cute. I just love that texture of the wood. Maybe we could add a piece of glass on the top. Look, if you have vanilla and chocolate chocolate. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a price to go to uh, Okay, got a Yeah, that's right. A lot of this stuff is just reclaimed. So to see something. Okay, an omelet. green peppers Oh that was horrendous I know you're crabby. No. Uh, where are my thoughts? Oh, wow. The chat. The apathetic black queen. I heard that cowboy bebop was canceled by Netflix after season one. Oh, yeah. I heard about that, too. Honestly, I don't really care. You know, we. I knew this was going to happen. I really don't care about cowboy bebop. But, like, y you get what I mean? Like, sometimes some, show, some shows don't matter, but I did notice that it was, you know, really different than what they were aiming, aiming for from the anime. Like, this was drastically different. It was, you know, changed so much that you couldn't even really recognize it too much. And I was like, oh, wow, I'd hate to be a fan of that show and, like, see this. But it's also a, you know, change that I was like, uh, not really a good idea to go with these changes because it doesn't look anything like the source material or it doesn't really seem like it is trying to adapt that show. And it's like kind of weird. But yeah, I've heard of it. I honestly, 
if I was a fan, I would be more, you know, hurt by it. But you get what I mean? I, like, sometimes some stuff that you don't understand, you really like, oh, wow, it sucks that ha- that happened. That, you know, that they made this stupid show and it didn't go well because they thought, hey, this would be a great idea. And then it just goes to shit. <laughs> but I am glad it, it was canceled because I don't have to hear about it anymore. <laughs> about how this is perfect. And it's like, no, it isn't. I may not be a fan, but I can tell when it's bullshit from a mile away. So, yeah. Okie dokie, guys. Let's. Oh yeah, we got to do our main. Sorry. Back. Sorry about that, guys. Maid duties. I forgot the maid duties. Oh crap! We forgot the maid duties. We have to do everybody's laundry. And then after that, we'll go back outside and investigate. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Oh, okay. Only these rooms. Ah. Welcome back to Flea Market Flip. You know what they say? There's nothing more romantic than two dumpster diving couples on a date. You're in the workshop. Gotta hang into an iron at home all the time. Being here, iron is this wood, this wood and table, huh? Gotta get all the super towels and make sure everything's good. Oh, didn't ask for it. But. Uh oh. We just walked into their room. You know what that means. They're gonna get pissed. Jeter ready to create some funky pieces of their own. And they want to turn this vintage small chair into a one-of-a-kind design. They all combine these table legs with this trunk to form a work desk. And they want to go cycle this pair of industrial drying racks and turn them into a coffee table. We'll use this on the bottom. Both teams also get an extra $100 for embellishments. And here to assist them in their endeavors, our exceptionally wise team, Master Krause. Listen to your wife. Okay. I tried one. <laughs> For our functional project, we plan to take our iron board and repurpose it into a council table. So we're going to uncross these legs. Okay. And we're going to place a leg on each side. Oh, crap. And add exactly the same. <laughs> Flings so foot across the table. Okay. Okay, dropping the laundry. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some water. Have fun, don't drown. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Cowboy Bebop was canceled by Netflix after season one. What happened? So, for our functional piece, we're going to be taking an old vintage petition chair and we're going to be turning it into a functional reading chair. Oh no, I did something bad. I ripped it. Oh, so I ripped the chair. So when you were cleaning it, you ripped the vinyl? Yeah, right. You yeah. could paint it. You could paint it. We've done that. I know, but Lara, it's so cool. Well, like, what, what, what else is happening? Yeah, this crazy light. That's not crazy. It's crazy. I feel like it's like a science experiment. I'll put a black wing get back here right now and tell me why Cowboy Bebop was canceled by Netflix. That's I was thinking. you want Inquiring minds absolutely need to know. So, luckily, I have a vinyl repair kit, and I really hope that's going to take care of the problem. So, when I put the vinyl repair kit on top, you heat it up, and then you apply the texture to other vinyl. So, this vinyl has the same exact texture as, as our chair. And by putting it on, look at that. That's amazing. That's going to look great. This crazy light. What do you think? Where was someone put that in your home? Probably in the corner. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oops. I'm pretty good at muting myself. Not that time, though. For our functional project, we want to add a drop these things. I do like the whole idea of adding the gold here. We 
So the Iron Board uh, concert table turns out very funky with the fun in the funky. What are you making out of these two objects? No, thank you. You want to turn the trunk into a desk. Anyone use these legs to the trunk? I didn't watch it, actually. I haven't seen it. Was it bad? Cut the legs off. We don't need the tabletop, right? Yeah. Did you want to do anything with the legs? Okay, back from the dead. Welcome. Oh, man, sorry about that. I was double checking in the tub, and oh my gosh, I'm annoyed. Why? Oh, well, the phantom decided to not, you know, obey what I was saying, which was, you know, cl you know pull out the water from the freaking drain. And I'm like, I'm just going to wait to see how long it takes her to remember that. <laughs> I've got a chalk paint. When you dry the yeah. Paint, you get like a leathery effect. Let's see. She's not there. Okay. These guys are up to. They're not here. Is that the bummer? Wow. Look at that. Yeah. The desk turned out pretty good. Much better than expected. Okay, we gotta make sure we remember the time. Okay, noon to 1 p.m. So we'll have to get back here to serve lunch. Caution. No. So for a stowaway design. We're going to turn some industrial drying mats into a coffee table. We're going to be stacking our trays. So we're going to have one on the bottom and one on the top. With a metal leg. By order of the snowflake, don't clear that pad. Damn it. All the wood that's all marked right? This is a storage and storage in the house. The way design project turned out really nice. It's so nice looking. What are you planning on doing today? So, the first year, no, no. I'm definitely the model. Oh. <laughs> I want to replace the metal with some wood. Yeah. You want to waste Damn it. 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 Final question. Let's say legs or no legs? I say legs. It adds height and it adds the position of detail. Okay. I think it looks great. I like it a lot. I think our pieces will blend in a lot better in New York City, especially because of the size. Well, I'm made of junk, though. I'm made of sure, sure. Unfortunately, their stuff is still junk. It's just junk. So we made some crazy pieces. New York got crazy people. That's crazy. We got this dance down. That's oh, no. a fish. That's a mine. Oh, oh. Uh oh. That's my channel. From Sunday to Sunday. So, like, what am I going to do here? Yeah. At least fun. that wasn't too bad. Okay. Damn it. At least we keep getting bigger fish. Damn it. No, sweet. We finally got the fish we need. Wait, no matter. Do 
run a growing business, to be on a journey. And along the ride, you'll find many challenges. Your Dell Technologies Advisor is here to help, so you can stop at nothing for your customers. I better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Robin, I knew that if you give me a minute, guys, I have to pick up a little poop that Robin wants. <laughs> Take home five thousand dollars. So we're gonna win the competition because we're funky. Our pieces are funky. And New York is pretty funky. Kim and Jean, your funk is gonna be junk. I love this and I like the gold tips. Yes, thank you. That's so fun. That's a winner. Wow, this came out great. Yeah, it came out really well. I love the leather handle. It really is fun. I love the storage inside. Welcome to one of my favorite places. I used to live across the street. I come here. It's like a grave or something. That's what it kind of looks like. It's a real neighborhood place. You have one day to get this done. You have worked so hard. The team that makes the bigger profit will take home $5,000. How about that? You feel good? Yeah. Uh, right. Sorry about that, guys. It really smelled. Hmm. How about this? Is it uh, ironing board? Yes, an ironing board. This must have been made by the explosion I heard. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 25 minutes. All right. So, Oh, cool. So, no more yeah. avalanches for me. Thank you very much. Is your yes, it is a lot. Thank you. It's amazing. I don't even know where to put it, but it is. Yeah, we're looking for something for the kitchen. All right. This would be great. So, like spices? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Lord. So, what's his spot? Okay, joke here. We put the funky functional baby. Warmer already. <laughs> Feel like my shirt is fresh and pressed. <laughs> With a hair dryer chair. Space or oh, are at it again. Oh, there they are. Hey, excellent job on the snow shoveling, eh? We had ourselves one fine time out there because of you, especially Lou here. I beat him five times. By the slimmest of margins. What's up, kiddo? Have you been to the lodge? Yep, sure is. Thank you. Well, I better get back to work. See you later. No, talk What's to this up? doofus. 
One down. One down. So you go to school in California? Yep. Yeah. University of California at Brea. And we added the working on Master Cool. So what's yeah. your favorite medium? It is just like the Spanish Inquisition. Hey, give her a break. She's just trying to make pleasant conversation. <laughs> oh, um, um, my favorite medium? Dirt. I paint with dirt. I create works of art by manipulating naturally occurring geophysical substances like dirt. Sometimes my hands, but most of the time, heavy machinery is involved. Oh, brother. Nobody understands my art, but that's cool. To be right is to be misunderstood. FYI, Ralph Waldo Emerson said that. If you need your hair done, we know where to go. Yeah, we've got a chair. Is this your first time at the lodge? Yep. My car down on the way to Lake Louise last summer. I was here to wait for the tow truck and figured it'd be a cool place to visit during the winter. So here I am. Snowshoe? I like doing stuff outside. Snowshoeing is about all I can afford. You got her the perfect gift. Does it matter if you give her the perfect batteries? Well, does it matter if you organize the dream birthday party? The is it a hard sport to learn? You don't learn how to snowshoe. If you need to get through snow that's too deep to walk through, you slap on some snowshoes and you just do it. That makes just about as much sense as me. Thing you can just draw because you can. What if we fall through? If I die, I blame this guy. She was just wrong about it. She just didn't step on the snow right. What? Man, it's just amazing to see how far we get. Okay. What do you think about all the weird things that have been happening around here? I think they're kind of cool. Accidents make life colorful, you know? You wouldn't be saying that if you were the one who'd slipped on those ice-covered stairs or eaten that bad potato salad or had those four flat tires. Hey, I had that broken window. Broken window? I went snowshoeing on, like, the third day I was here, and when I got back, the window in my room was broken. Glass was all over. That's weird. That is weird. Anything missing from your room? That wasn't a burglary. It was like the window just decided... I mean, there was no rock on the floor, no bullet, no nothing. You tried to jump up into your room, but didn't quite make it. That's bogus, dude. My room's on the second floor. And besides, wolves don't do stuff. Yeah, that does a lot of stuff wolves aren't supposed to do. That's why it needs to be hunted down. It's just doing its thing, man. Get off its case. Anyway. My window broke and nobody knows why. It's been a bit yeah. of a one-sided battle so far, as Ken and Jen are all right. Anyone else when you're out there snowshoeing? I see that Yanni guy sometimes. He'll be plodding along and he'll go zooming oh, by. Those skis of his are like rocks, yes. man. And that upcycled sponge you need to find you that hear explosions? Yeah, yeah. they freak out. It doesn't take a very big sound to trigger an avalanche. You're out there by yourself. Nothing will ruin your day faster than a couple of tons of snow roaring your way at 100 miles an hour. Tell me about it. What is it? He's talking to you. In real. You can store your computer in here, the storage in here. You can put your stuff away. And you can actually close it up. Oh, yeah. It's a nice feature. Oh, yeah. We can probably talk to the victims. Yeah, Great. You can talk to Tino, I guess. So it's 25, and I'd be willing to pay 200. Hey, Nancy, what do you mean? It's going to be cold. Can you give me a hint? About what? 
It's actually kind of a cute idea. Oh. You still have to get that northern pike, I guess. What? I thought we did. Maybe we thought we did too. Well, thankfully, one, two, three. Let's take a look what they look like again. Okay. Gene and Dan. Make them different. Yeah. You had to find, as you guys call it, a funky buyer, and you did. What did you guys spend on Okay. Spotted. Turn around and sold it for it. Pretty well done, huh? Yeah, you did. I want to talk to Kevin. Yeah, spotted fish. Page. What did you guys spend on that $30? And then you sold it for? $250. Guys, congratulations. Even though Ken and Jen sold their pieces so quickly, you guys How slick do you need your skis, man? Oh. Oh. And the winner of this episode oh, Jen, you know, once again, the total profit of $250 is... All means, explain away. What I said before, oh, yeah. it is because my grandmother was killed. Oh. Killed. 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 And the oh. Yeah, we learned a lot, so we do it again. Are you serious? Years ago, oh, let's her mother, my grandmother, was on the way back from the village on her mother's cooler, which was and still is the only means of transportation for the Germans in the fall. It was Jack and the sun was just wet and it was very cold. There were thousands of wolves in the country. My grandmother halfway home, but he came upon a young man waving to the side of the road for her to stop. He too had been on a school. He was walking down, and wolves were gathering all around him for a pair of their plan is to steal the wind. And he looked on behind her, and they took off down the road like wolves, dozens of them chasing after them. Her scooter was slow, much too slow, and the wolves soon caught up with them. And then one of the wolves seized my grandmother's hand. Instead of helping her, the man pushed her off the bike. He instantly gained speed and he got away. My grandmother fell upon by the wolves. Reveal your soul in a way, don't you? And you learn a lot about your life. Yeah. How do you know that's what happened? Tormented by guilt, the man eventually confessed that he was prison for seven years. And the really? All right. And the people of the countryside was rid of them. It's done. And so I'm happy to talk to you about any subject. About them, I have nothing to say. Yesterday, I had to slow down to avoid colliding with you. It ruined my whole session. I have disturbed you long enough. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Finally, color design. We want you to transform a flea market find using a colored block or an ombre design finish. If you are not confident in that ombre design finish, go color block. I have seen you go so Oh, long. sweet. We've been looking for you, old man. Yeah, has he just been in the basement this whole time? Yeah. Need something. I've talked to all the guests, so I thought maybe it was time to talk to you. Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. I ain't much of a problem. I don't get things said. I get them done. So, why aren't you trying to find out who's behind all these acts? Because I already know. Who? It's going to solve all our problems. A chainsaw? One that'll finish off that thing out there once and for all. You think a wolf is causing the accident? Not a human being, but it thinks a particular shape. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, Robin, Evie. Does Ms. Mawikwe know you're doing this? She knows she doesn't want that thing around her guests. And you heard her. I'm supposed to do whatever I think is necessary to get rid of it. But it's not like it's attacking people. Let me tell you something. Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away from me, just staring at me. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, 
and I missed, and then I missed again and again, and all the while it just sat there staring until finally it just stood up, walked toward the brush just as calm as could be, and disappeared. Wild animals just don't act like that, and I just don't miss like that. There's something real weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. You met my little girl yet? Freddy? Oh, yeah. She's got a pretty mean arm on her. <laughs> she sure does. Of course, that little snow fort she built is pretty much her whole life. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can pick a snowball fight with them. I keep asking her how she manages to stay warm all day, but she won't tell me. Says she's got a secret weapon. <laughs> yeah, she's something. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Uh. Come on, go to bed. Oh, you guys are assholes. Amboon, are you still there? Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, there was just a little background it. noise. On my oh. end, too. Damn it! Oh, I hate when they do this. I don't know what the hell they're barking at, but give me a minute. Sorry, guys. Again, I freaking blame my um, annoying sister who's sitting on the stairs. Uh, I don't know why she's doing that. Anyways, back to the game. Back to the game. Uh, unless somebody wants to be strangled and it's not going to be my dogs. I really hate when she does that. How long have you worked for Chantal? About a year and a half. I Why is Jane on the stairs? I or two. I could run this place single-handed if I had to, just like I'm doing now. Had you ever been in the guest lodge business before? I tried my hand at it once. Long story short, didn't work out. But I've learned a whole lot since then. I could make it work now. Just need to find the right property, get my hands on enough cash to make a down payment, that's all. Does your wife, Freddie's mom, does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. See, she's got this nerve condition that makes her real sensitive to cold. Freddie'd like to go with her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddie south too is out of the question. Oh my gosh! <sighs> How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and broke his leg? can't explain it. One minute those stairs were clear and dry, next minute they're slick with ass and he's lying at the bottom of them. Hmm. Suspicious. I think Ollie pushed him. That could definitely be it, yeah. Crunchy outside and chewy inside. Find your positive they were clear and dry? Yep. Jim, every bit of frozen snow off of them myself. You ask me, somebody. No, sir. No, sir. Have you ever seen Trapper Dan's needle? Oh. Do you know if there's a way to get into it? Don't know. Don't really care. Maybe something in that display up in the lobby will tell you what you want to know. Did you know there was an avalanche at Chicken Ridge? We didn't. Not surprised, though. You call the avalanche patrol? No, should I? You better give those employee instructions I left in your room another look. Reporting yeah. avalanche is hard to stop. That's all the questions I had. See you later. Okay, I guess we have to actually call avalanche con avalanche control. What the hell are they going to do about it? Tell the avalanche to just stop? <laughs> It's part of my job, I guess. Let's see where the fucking. Make the 
I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge, but I wanted to report an avalanche at Chicken Ridge. Anyone injured or trapped? Uh, not anymore. We'll check it out. Thanks for the heads up. Hey, wait a minute. You know Miles Randall? The handyman here at the lodge? He's also on patrol. Do me a favor and tell him that the explosives training and history has been postponed until next month. Explosives training? Sometimes the patrol has to use explosives to bring down unstable cells. The early training sessions are mandatory. Ollie will know what I'm talking about. I'll tell him. Appreciate it. One more thing. Have any of you guys been setting off explosives anywhere near the Icicle Creek Lodge recently? Nope. Oh. Sure haven't. Well, thanks. Bye. Okay. That was a quick phone call. Welcome back to Flea Market Flip. Here in the workshop, our team for all harder work fixing, mixing, and making those masterpieces. Hopefully. I trust you. Good. All right. Better. All right. Peter and Trench have faith they'll create an amazing okay. pieces. They hope to use these metal rings and oh. to create a one of a kind coffee table. They'll transform a dresser into a kitchen island. And they want to turn this ammo crate into a console table. Yes. Oh my god, she's still looking at the window. Okay, we can't ask her any questions. Um they plan to give a stylish update to this metal bistro set. They'll upcycle this metal calliope record and turn it into a wall clock. And they want to convert an antique wooden commode and turn it into a bar. But check this out. They fit perfect. Each team also gets an extra $100 to fancy up their pieces. And here to help them do just that is our handy team of master craftsmen. Hey, hey, hey. Our vision for our mix of house piece is transforming a client record. Oh, wait. I just realized we have to make one. I feel warmer already. We want to paint the backing of our clock copper. This is a large penny. <laughs> I mean, no, this was a calliope record. We're going to make it into a clock. What are the hands going to be made Oh, again. Uh, uh, dark metal. Why don't you take well, I need to go back to beating so, Lou. Drop by any time. Oh, wait, we actually have to tell. What's this way? Oh, what do I have on my hand now? Oh, thank you. Sorry. So for our mixed metallics, we got these four rings and a lot. The Avalanche Patrol asked me to tell you that the explosives training session in Calvary has been postponed until next year. Hallelujah. I don't know. Well, we're going to round out the river and then cut the copper. So we are on the Avalanche Patrol, huh? Yep. Oh, and this is the right inside. I've never seen anything like this. I'm anxious to see how it turns out. I think it's interesting. You need to check it out? Keep seated so you don't have to worry about it. Thank you for the kiss. Bill Kessler guy's getting bored being here doing any ice fishing. I brought you something. I'm dreaming. Anything to do? Just remember the phone call wants you to keep the guests we got happy. Eric doesn't think that we should use our LED lights, but we're going to test it and see if it works. Just wait. Now you're outside. Awesome. So we're going to do it. Our last one. Wow. So amazing. We need to attach this back. Okay, let's make lunch. The record. Yeah, so that we don't get fired again. Exactly. Okay, let's see what we got to do. Oh, fuck. I like it. Use of the copper and the metal from the record. It's so classic. 
Oh shit! Damn it! Perfect. What do you think? We have to build a piece of wood for right here for us to sit on. There you go. Yes. And then we're gonna make. Oh, I really hate how she's handling things out there. Okay, I'm not gonna kill anyone. Order up. And then we have. Order up. It's very rustic. She is fantastic. For our casual dining, we're taking some rusty table and chairs, and we're going to make them pretty. We're going to add some cushioning, and we found fabric. Oh, you're up. Mixed with the chairs. How do we get this paint treatment onto this table base? Okay, so one right. hamburger. We're going to add a little bit to this, just like this, and just get it anywhere, just one. Oh, cheese. Oh, it's great. So, yeah, this is going to make so much fun. This casual dining Onion. Set. So, how great. We're going to make this gotcha. so Basically, yeah. Okay. We're going to do a gray on the outside and then a pop of blue inside. Great. We're going to throw some metal legs on it. Is you know, there anything you can do to add a little bit? Up. The more detail you give us now, Cheese, lettuce. We're going to stick some legs on it. Two pickle. We're going to add a bean set on top. One tomato, one onion. Add chopped wood on the other side. Our console table is amazing. It's got games on top and storage inside. Could you get any better than that? For our color block, here's actually a sketch of it. We are going to raise this up okay. with metal oh, yeah. light. So we're doing one, two, three, four different colors. Okay. One cheese, wow. one lettuce. It's a lot. With each step, stand back, take a look at the piece. Does it call for more? Does it Too call pickle. for more? Let the furniture speak to you. Great. One more triple ketchup. Can I open my I swear, if I'm hearing something that shouldn't be going on, I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> I don't know what the Phantom is doing. Hopefully, it's not anything damaging, because I will be cleaning people if there is. I'm going to flip the power. And there's a tree. Now that our pieces are done, it is sneaky breezy. Super confident. No problem. Okay. Okay. We have got this one. Can't check that off yet. Game on. Our pieces turned out fantastic. Yeah, functional, beautiful, that's, and one of a kind. We got this. We got Let's this check that off yet. Okay, we got enough time to use the snowmobile. <laughs> oh my god. Why does she insist? Before. I'm this close to just, you know. Oh, wow. Damn it. Okay. I'm out of gas. I'm just kidding. No. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. Wow, we blew up. Snowmobile? Not only crashed it, I pretty much trashed it. I didn't mean to, but I guess I zigged and I should have zagged. My insurance company's not gonna like this one. No. For what it's worth, I'm not exactly thrilled about it either. Well, Nancy, you to Don't let it happen again. You're fired. Yeah, that was my yes. second guess. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. 
I'm going to try and be slow. I'm going to try my best to be slow. I'm an attorney spokesperson. Should Viagra or Cialis really cost hundreds of dollars? We don't think so. Get generic Viagra or Cialis starting at under one dollar per tablet. Call 800-683-358. Plus, there's no deadline, so you don't have to worry about speeding all the way there. Just fill out a free survey, and if appropriate, you'll get the lowest prices available. Your consultation is free. There's no doctor office visits, and your shipping is always free. Call 800-683-583. The sign's not buried, so I guess there hasn't been an avalanche. Welcome to the Grand Bazaar and Vice. Please tell me we don't have to go. Upcycled design. Damn it! Dining pieces. Did a great job. Yeah, it came out so beautiful, right? And their color design projects. Woo! I love them here. And they'll need to make as much cash as they can because the team that rakes in the bigger profits wins $5,000. We are so confident. Extremely confident. Uh, Beyond confident. Absolutely. Hey, uh, sure. We're going to send you up the river with the log table. I've never seen a river log. Okay, so I'll be real curious to see how much it's all for. It might have been negotiable, or you might find a buyer that just has to have me. It's a really fun piece. I'm trying to slow down. It's a color. I love your choice of the color. It's so in right now. This is a Damn it! <laughs> Snowmobile? We Not went through this already. It, I pretty much crashed it. I didn't mean to, but I guess I zigged when I should have zagged. My insurance company's not gonna like this one bit. For what it's worth, I'm not exactly thrilled about it either. Well, Nancy, can you guess what I'm about to say to you? Don't let it happen again. You're fired. Yeah, that was my second guess. The sign's not buried, so I guess there hasn't been an. Oh avalanche. right, we can't skip this. That makes me so me happy, I guess. That was a pain in my butt. Thank you. Sold, sold. That's great. Ah, warm again. Now we gotta call the avalanche patrol. Mm -hmm. Freaking. Four, three, five, 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 six, 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 six. Actually, I'm calling on behalf of Ollie Randall. He wanted me to tell you that there hasn't been any avalanche activity out at Skookum Ridge. I was wondering when we were going to hear from him. Thanks for the report. No problem. You'll never find another one like this ever. I don't think I can carry it on there. That's okay. Let's report back to them. Party in the box. Party in the potty, I'd like to say, right? So this is a river table. Check out Skookum Ridge. Yep, no avalanche. There's your snowmobile key. You make a report to the avalanche patrol? Sure did. 
What else do you want? I'll get out of your hair now. Keep me so, posted. We'll take it for 275. Okay, let's check. How can I help you? Oh. I've disturbed you long enough. Kavichinaya. You are now tied. You have sold two pieces. You have sold okay, let's see. I'm loving it. Let's try and solve this puzzle. Um, Since you're tired, man, I've been trying a lot of new things. The French Red Hot. It's the perfect blend of flavor, liquid, like me. And spread on all the recipes I've mastered. I put that on everything. Hmm. There's some on your body wash. Try a late body wash. It's a great The late body wash. I'm in your home right now. Mm. Join me on me. I'm gonna not understand this puzzle. For a thin layer of mint covered in dark chocolate, try your thin. This season, give from the heart with 25 to 50% off everything. Don't miss the last big sale of the year and celebrate every gift with a I'm using a tutorial. <laughs> yeah. I was like wondering if it would work. I guess I can't get it to work. Hmm. Hey, sold two of their three pieces. All right, what is my <laughs> Perfect. So we have a deal. Have a deal. At the moment, all Peter and Trish have left to sell is that console for you. On the top, we put um, a chest, a nice little chest set. And top four. Yeah. While on the other end of the tent, Ken and Melissa are still looking for a buyer to take home their colorful wand. I love color. This is a lot of color. So I'm really hopeful that we find someone who's as brave and bold as you guys. I hope so. The clock is ticking. The day is almost done. So both of these teams need to finish strong. They want to be the ones to take home $5,000. We are open. Want to talk about it? You've been eyeing it the whole time. It's very solid. Oh, this is a new for sure where it goes. Seventy-five in shorts. Seventy-two. Awesome! Thank you. You're our last sale. Let's see what we can do with this. That right. ought to do it. Oh. That ought to do it. Okay. That ought to do it. Then what happens? Magic. Look, this becomes a tray. Uh, 
And then also, if you if you got charged with an offer, make us an offer. We're open to anything. 175. If you go to 180. Oh, let's talk to the numbers we forgot to call. Um. <laughs> I feel warmer already. Three, two, which is winner. Winner. Okay. I want to first talk to you guys about your projects because I want to say congratulations. Tell me about the clock. So we spent 65. What's your boy toy? Guys, now let me tell you these guys are the log and the rings was the biggest mystery I think I've ever seen in the show. When I saw those pieces, what you were going to do. You executed. I made it fancy. What did you guys say? No coverage out here. I'm in the middle of the Canadian Rockies, remember? Oh, I haven't forgotten. Congratulations, Well, as a matter of fact, this is I got here. The bunkhouse blew up. What's that way? The sheriff found traces of a plastic explosive called C4 on some of the debris. So if whoever blew up the bunkhouse is the person who's been causing the accident, you're looking for someone who knows something about explosives. Yeah. The lone wolf has been hanging out around the lodge lately. A wolf? That's kind of cool. Now, cool is that it got me out of an avalanche and saved my life. I don't know yet. Chantal is insisting that if I need help, I can get it from this police consultant she hired. I mean, you know, that's the one. How does she know him? I introduced them and he charmed her into hiring him. And now I have to get all my hints from him. Well, I'm sure she's very Actually, before he has been here before. No way. Are you kidding? Not a chance. These two teams are set to flip for $5,000. Yanni Volsera, a cross-country skier? Someone threw a bomb at him while he was out on the slopes training. And then there was, it left a small crater. I stopped myself. From what I read, Yanni is a pretty ruthless competitor. He's probably had a lot of enemies. In fact, he's convinced that his competitors are the ones who blew up the bunkhouse. They were trying to intimidate him. Some may be using explosives around here, but I really don't think they're doing it just to get rid of young folk style. Yeah, I intend to find out. Modern, merge Eastern influences and mid-century. Okay, use your own style to cope with. Second, unexpected yardage. Are you familiar with the Jack being called the Cold of the Wild? Sure, it's a dog. It's a big dog. What kind of material helps you use your feet? Because I found a copy of it in this room. Interesting. Maybe you can have something around the thing. He does spend a lot of time outside by himself. He's so but maybe he's up to something else. Something that ties in with the wolf. Maybe the fact that he's reading that book is a big coincidence. Yeah, that could be too. Sometimes it was. Or something for storage. Camillo says she's a bird watcher, but I'm not sure. What do you say For one thing, the will go on for hours about the birds they've seen or the birds they want to see, but not her. In fact, these birds seem to be the last thing on our mind. And for another thing? 56. 5750. The one pop from my room is missing. He found a big clock face in the debris behind when the bunkhouse exploded. It could have been part of the timing device. Women can blow things up too, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blow things up. Whatever you say. 
The guy who built Bicycle Creek Lodge also built this weird concrete pyramid thing nearby that everyone calls Pepper Games meeting. No one knows, but there's a piece of black nylon type fabric sticking out of it. Like there's a door in it and someone had snagged their clothes on it on their way in. Right. Always on the avalanche patrol, which means he knows how to handle explosives. He's got the temperament for it. I can guarantee you that. What I'm not sure about is why he'd be the mad farmer. Although he did mention that he wanted to get back into ranching for himself. What's stopping him? No property. I mean, Cartel yeah. yeah. hasn't gotten around to giving him the raise she promised him. He seemed to be bitter about that. was having major boyfriend problems. Uh, the old maid? Yes. Dear Elsa, this time when I read in your letter saying you weren't oh, coming, sorry. I didn't get that. I got mad. I can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady. Jeez. Whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me. If I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to go to a take a flying leap, but since I love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you stored in my garage and dump them down the disposal. Or maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel apiece. I don't know how else to make you understand. I love you with all my heart and I always will. Hell. What? Oh my god. Dearest Elsa, you said in your letter that you love me forever back, but if that's true, why did you put off coming here to see me? When I read you weren't coming, I stopped and looked around because it felt just like somebody had walked up and stabbed me through the heart. I'm starting to get real jealous of that lodge you work at. You spend way, way more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself. I'm so in love with you. It's getting hard to see straight, and that's the truest thing I've ever told you. Come see me next week. Totally and completely yours. Oh. I'm starting to think this guy freaking set fire. Darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well, that was true. But what's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. Sometimes thinking about forever makes me dizzy. Like when I start thinking about the sky and how it doesn't stop with the moon or the sun or even the Milky Way. But it just keeps going and going and going. But when I think about you, forever seems totally cool. Because it's one thing to just keep going and going and going by yourself. But to keep going and going and going with somebody, that's awesome. Hmm. A little obsessive. Write me back as soon as you get this. I can't wait to see you next week. Love forever, L. Hmm. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with a check. Elsa. Yes, we gotta call Elsa now. Hopefully does she doesn't sing Let It Go To Us. <laughs> Big 
Oh, 19 grams of protein per can and 20 chicken noodles. Lunchtime is your half time. Who's on it with Guardians? Five million restricted salt. We're managing. We're working over here while you're at it. Uh, is this Elsa Sibelhoff? Sibelhoff? That's why I want to go off after a while. Canadian Auto. You're a heart attack or stroke. And Jordan's lowers A1C. You're a sick. Robbie, you're coming from the Isaac Creek Lodge. I hear you have some tire problems over here. Oh, yeah, boy. to get additional information, that's all. Oh, well, red stuff was happening all over the place up there. One guy got his stairs and broke his leg, his whole family got food poisoning, and now I hear they got bombs going off up there. It's just a bad place to work, you know? My life is totally legit. Taking on every daunting challenge. Providing the past getting all torn up like that didn't have something to do with L, did it? L? L, as in, I'm going to sell your collection of troll dolls on eBay. You found it. Okay, so Larry, my best, but it's excellent. Oh, right, I couldn't take time off to visit him and finish my time. I go. I'm getting the most out of your best airplane. I'm getting the reason to quit and get on the post for a while. I just need some time off and some cash. Just want to jump start my career, you know, because I got talent. I really do. I shouldn't have lost Good idea. What happened to Larry? Oh, why out of my life? Take it from me. Do not ever, ever, ever think for one second that having a good boyfriend is in any way, shape, or form a good thing. It's not the worst. Nancy. Yes, that's right. I'm writing a song about it. It's called Flash or Tennessee, Spare My Tires. Get it? Spare My Tires. I'll probably sing it on Canadian Idol. Hey, you want to hear it? Uh, no. In fact, I'd better get going. Good luck on the show, though. And thanks for the time. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the madness. Yay! Battle of the Burlap. Oh, wow. We've been on for like three hours so far. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll let you go. Okay. Let's do a round with him. Hey, got a for you. been ice fishing? As a matter of fact, I have. Excellent. Here's the deal. I need some competition, so I want you to go out there and try to catch a bigger fish than I caught yesterday, which means you got to catch a two-foot northern pike. Now, it's a of a hike out to the lake, but the shack is solar heated, so it's nice and warm inside. So what do you say, kiddo? Anything to make you guests happy. Atta girl. Okay. I'll let you get back to your nap. Anytime you want to pick up, just make me up. Okay. Here to help them work things out along the way. Now what? I'll let you get back to the nap. You want to talk? You get where to find me. I guess we got to go catch one now. We're shimmling the body of the trunk now. Where's the amount of brown? Where's the black? Well, that would be the pop cushion. Make sure you pick the one that is the coolest in the past. Yes. Well, you also kind of. I like that one. Oh, that's cute. We're going to put the hinge on. Yeah. Put your feet up on it, like the coffee table. <laughs> For our unexpected yardage project, we're going to take some burlap sacks and some cement molds and a full metal pulp. We're going to take a um, and use these burlap sacks to add a resin to. Cool. A little resin. 
<laughs> I'm starting to get really cold. Oh my gosh. It looks like someone came in and just wrecked everything, including the people here. I can't fish. The tackle's rolling. Our next project, we're going to use our house jacks and make a console table, and then we're going to use the two letters to make nesting tables to put underneath. So the two letters, what we would like to do is create a box around them, maybe some reclaimed wood on the top and bottom, maybe metal size. Left behind by whoever trashed this place, maybe? Two, two, five, 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 seven. That's a U.S. phone number. We're going to put a nice piece of wood hmm. on top. Third more project turned out. Yeah. I think it's about a five on a scale of one to ten. For a leg to stand on, we're going to be turning a generator cover grate into it's an end table. Really, really cool out here. At the fleet. And I'd like to use that as the front leg on the, the front of the triangle. Okay. And then we brought two, we bought a bunch of other legs here. These Grab are adjustable in height. Okay, got a lot of figuring out to do here. We did. The base I feel warmer up. already. Somebody Three. left me a note. Paint. We're going to attach the legs. Nancy, I really like playing snowball fights with you, but I'm afraid you won't want to play with me anymore. If you play with me and win, I'll give you my top secret way I can stay out in the cold for so long. Okay, that's awesome. But I also have to make that call. I'll call and then I'll do the snowball fight. A big modern cabinet we're making into a side table. We need to do some different legs on it. Pull back as you're going in. One of these two marks. That's very cool. And we're going to be painting the outside black, the inside red. That's really good. Yeah. And then doing some embellishment. You have reached Run and Grow Free, a non-profit organization dedicated to wild animals of North America being wild. No one because all of our volunteer staff is for a sneak modern project. We're going to take our mushroom cabinet and turn it into a little bar. We're going to strip all the mushrooms off. You leave your name and number after the beep. We'll eventually get back to you. We polish these. These were the lights on the legs. Yes. Yeah. We're going to leave this polished with a little highlight of, of a little pop of red. So that it looks like. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, so it gives it a little pop? Yeah. And then what we're going to do on the inside, I'm really excited. I can tell you're not. You're going to be purple. This is leather from scrap. Are you going to do red? I think, yeah. I think red is what I love. Do we have to call anybody else? You have red. Oh, uh, what? Red do we have to call anybody else? Not that I know of. Yeah, maybe you could go the paint on the yeah, inside. Let's go play with little Freddy. Freddy Silver looks like. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I think that piece is a thing that people would want to have in their home. Oh, shit. We're not worried about the other team. Looking at our pieces, I kind of see where they are going. Like, you just see the road when I see that. So, we are. We spend all year serving others. You win from the waves. Let me get really cool. Just squeeze your toes to the cap and you'll get a boost of heat. It only works for the other girls. It's the only one for the other girls. Okay. Two months plus. No one for payments for 90 days on the 20th. Okay. We got plenty of them. Well, we got one. Now we can like use it whenever we want and not freeze to death out here. Yay. Ah, much better. It was really cold. What makes the holidays? Okay, now we just gotta like what else should we do? Because nearing the end of this stream, there's like still a lot we need to do. I think we should talk to him. Hey, little Miss Fisherman. What can I do for you? I hate to tell you this, but someone wrecked all the fishing gear that was in the fishing shack. What? You're kidding. So my gear's ruined? Or done. 
No one can deliver your mom from me. Completely. So much for our little fishing contest. Wait a minute. Ollie ice fishes. Go ask him for a hook and line. And don't take no for an answer. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to beating Lou. Glad you dropped by. All right. What's up? I'll catch you later. Rock and roll. How can I help you? That's all for now. It has been a pleasure. Okay. So Russian Gilligan won't help. Real heat. Real heat. What you need. All the power you the ice fishing shack and ruined all of Bill Kessler's equipment. Probably some animal love eco fanatic who figured it was time to save the fish. <laughs> Problem is, Mr. Kessler still insists that I try to catch a two foot northern pike. Say no more. There's my tackle box. It's all you. Kessler tried to be mean to compete with him. I can't very well do that. I've got my hook and line now, can I? No, I don't suppose you can. What else do you want? I better get back upstairs. Good. Okay, we have his tackle box. Okay. Let's go and get that northern pike, and then we'll go out. Oh, wait. Damn it. Oh shit. I tell you I'm pulling yourself in battle. Fine. Again. Thank you. You're going down. Hey, I love all your fun things you brought in. Thank you. It is really, really cold out here. Okay. Striped fish. That, that's striped, I think. That is not not focus, focus. Now the question is, who's buying what and for how much? Are you over Are you over I do. It's not what I need. Two feet, but not a northern pike. So, cold America. Ice is broken. And I'm looking for ice it's hot out here. I look, there's a little light here. Pretty neat, huh? You need a table for your bedroom? Jewelry, makeup, remote control. This is a picture of I don't have a TV. The table is a generator cover, and it's okay. a little box, and there's a hinge, and that opens logs, up. Logs, logs, mimes. Not what I'm looking for. That looks like what we're, what we're looking for. No. 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 Are you able to say we take cash and we take credit cards? Hey, this is how we can watch it. I'm looking for it's very unique. It is, isn't it? I didn't think about it. What I came for. Sure, sure. That's it. It's wonderful. Oh, damn it. Uh -oh. I think it passed by, but I don't want to deal with the mime. Not mime. Mine. <laughs> damn it. 
I snag a log. There goes my line. Oh my gosh. Do you have a place that you can put it in your house? Uh, no. Snag a log. There goes my line. Fuck you. Uh, oh, are you guys serious? I'm this. All right. Not what I need. <sighs> okay. That's what I need. I just need to make sure it's taken care of. Damn you, freaking communist blood! Mm -hmm. Give your sensitive skin even more. Even improve the ability. I snag a sturgeon. There goes my line. This is not what I imagined this would be. Wait, come on. Come on. Come on. Bitch. Bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait. Now I got plenty. Oh, wait. I can go through. Uh, come on. Come on, you little pieces of shit. I was close. So apparently mine mines don't work when it's like this. Uh oh, the sturgeon ate my line. Oh, you bitch! These fishes are assholes. My line just bit the dust. <laughs> That won't do. Ugh. You got her the perfect gift. Does it matter if you give her the perfect batteries? Well, come on. Come on. Damn it. Right what size, wrong fish. It doesn't quite measure up. Good. <laughs> Damn you, freaking communist fish! The sturgeon ate my line. Wrong again. Isn't that adorable? It's a medical cabinet. It's all been sanded down, so it's all stainless steel. I love the antiquity. Ah, shit. I Fuck you, fish. Huh. There goes my line. 575. Thank you. Doesn't quite measure up. <laughs> Oh, really? What will be good enough for this little bitch? <laughs> My line just bit the dust. No, 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 no. no. Ah! Oh, the sturgeon ate my line. Damn you, freaking communist fish. Mm. 
rats too small. I keep aiming for the big fish, but so far I keep getting disappointed. Rats too small. Rats too small. I'm going to shove one of these fishes up that guy's ass. You probably like it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. Rats too small. Just close. We're barely there. So only a profit of 45 dollars. Yeah. Guys, the winner of this episode, Green Market Flip, by just $15 and 25 cents. So you guys, is. Uh oh, Sturgeon ate my line. Little Sturgeon bitch. I'm gonna make you my dinner if it's the last thing I do. Congratulations. Oh shit, speaking of dinner. I broke my line. I gotta get back to the vlog and make dinner. Otherwise, I'm gonna get in trouble. It is really, really cold out here. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's about to get hypothermia. Uh, warm again. Let's see, what time can we make dinner? Six to seven p.m. Oh, fuck. We gotta get in there. They're my favorite guys. And they're up against Brad and Raul. They both love fixing up furniture, and they are ready. They got some jacks. We're the best at what we do because Brad always does this. Okay, one salmon. Because I'm like the present. I'm like, you're saying, let's talk. How would you describe your design style? I would say that our design style is like a clean, modern, and sleek. Okay. Salad. We're a little different. Like, I like things that are more rugged. I like things that are rustic. Okay, good. One tomato. One tomato. These three projects. Are you ready? Yes. I present to you the flip list. Number one, contrast design. Number two, the Sturgeon Flip List. Number three, the you want you guys to create a piece of minus two distinct nasty anchovy salad. salad. Bring two things together and make it one. You guys decide. Polished industrial. Transform an item that was first an industrial for a and give it new life. You guys might do that in a really clean, modern way. You Order up. Get it from a farm. That would be fun for me to see. Finally, smart design. We want you to create a piece that holds a hidden, unexpected function. We want to see an unexpected design secret. That you reveal to us and to your potential buyers. You need to negotiate and spend as little as you can. Are you ready? Ready. Go find it. You love you guys. So I'm or cucumbers. Try to find something. You can turn to a chair that opens. And order up. Yes. All right. 
going of everything else. Maybe for Paul's industrial, we're looking for like a coffee table or something. Or don't actually wrap this for like five feet. This actually order up. It's not pretty. Uh, that's okay. It's also broken. Okay. Size, but that's all I love. Maybe we can make like end tables instead since it is broken. So the thing is, we don't even need the side pieces. We kind of just need to break part of it so we can not just. Maybe down. Would you be willing to do 20 for us? You drive my hard drive? Order up. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, what do you think it's going to be? Metal or what? Let's maybe look for some wood. These little cuties? Yeah, that's. These are pretty cool. We could even pop these tops off, maybe. Put off the green and have two separate pieces. Wood base, metal top. Yeah, maybe we can do. Like two end tables for the living room? We're interested in these things here. Uh, what are you trying to support with the board? I think 30 is good. 30 is good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Number 30. Right. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that takes care of that. That was a quick one. Let's look around and see what we can find. Oh. Okay. Maybe you're just getting better at it. Still need to do that. Been there, whoops, haven't done that. That's finished. Been there, done that's finished. Check. So what are you asking for? Okay, so we still got four different things to do. Let's take a look at contrast design. Okay. Uh, maybe we can find Not sure if we should go out, back out there, but. Yeah. 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 That's zero. Number two? I don't think so. I like that shutter. Let's see. Uh, Are you going to make an entertainment center or something like an island of some sort? Something. Throw some wheels on it. So yes. Yeah. I like that. I like that idea. Question What are you selling? Can I help? 20. 20 each. Yeah. What's time to talk? Really talk to them for Good time. Me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Go what you need. That's all the questions I had. If you need anything, just holler. For our contrast design challenge, we wanted to do something a little unconventional. We're thinking about lighting, and we're thinking, um, um, Oh, hey, Obi. Yo, drop in to say hi. Nice to see you. It's, oh, it's pretty slow for me right now. I love that you guys. My goodness. I never would have seen that. Well, before we get, uh, you know, all these there's a lot going on. But yeah. Thank you. Do you recommend mine? I'm thinking think think we should probably end the stream for now because, like, I have no other clues of what to do. But of course, we have to save. Since retirement, I've been trying a lot of new things. With Frank's Red Hat, okay. it's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Like me. I'm straight on all the recipes I've Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, man. That was a lot to do. Honestly, I'm just kind of exhausted. <laughs> Understandable. There's, like, a lot of stuff we need to do, and I'm like, ugh. I need to figure out how to do that game and figure out how to get that freaking fish. Watch some Argyle thump or whatever. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did three hours and 24 minutes. This was pretty good, guys. This was really good. I would have streamed a little longer, but, you know, there's, like, a lot going on, and I wanted to make sure I got everything done tonight for some, like, other stuff I needed to do. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. What did you think, like, Ambone? I think it was pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the stream. I'm sorry it was like a little short, but again, trying to make sure things last a little longer. Oh, you think it was really good, Holy Duty? That's good. I wish I had played more, but I was trying to figure out what else to do. And I wanted to like make sure we got everything done with. So, yeah. 
I don't know when our next stream will be, either tomorrow or it depends. It depends. Anyways, guys, this has been great, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Check out our next stream we'll have for, like, part two of this game, so we can figure out more information and all that good stuff. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this has been Dazzling Kate and... Man, Ben. And until next time, guys, we are signing the hell out of here. Bye.